Hi there, and welcome to Neofight.tv, the technology show for the not-so-geeky. My name's Tiffany Young. And I'm Ben Friedman. And on the show today, we are taking... Oh, wait. Big news. <gasps> big news. Special show. This is our 200th episode. 200th episode. 200th wow. episodes. We've had 200 episodes, and every single one of them is on our website. So if wow. you want to take a look at, uh, if you want yeah. to know how to spend like 61 hours of quality footage, That's a... watch every episode from the beginning. Wow. Well, look, we can just look at how much technology has changed since the beginning. Oh, yeah. You know, is that something? Almost two years ago. Wow. Back then, we were talking about, you know, uh, you know, Wi-Fi. vacuum tubes and uh, <laughs> transistors. Pez. <laughs> this new 13-inch color TV. It's fantastic. <laughs> I know. It seems like, gosh, wow, 200 episodes. Well, congratulations. Congratulations. 200 yeah, episodes. 200 Thank episodes. You. Thank you. Here's to the next 200. Absolutely. Yeah. As long as we keep getting stuff, right? Exactly. <laughs> do we get, when are we going to get paid? Yeah, yeah. That's a good question. <laughs> because I was just wondering, with this shirt and all, I was wondering if you could put some money into your wardrobe. <laughs> I'm just teasing. This What's shirt, wrong with this it shirt? It reminds me of a, like, it has the same texture as, like, a, a, a curtain. <laughs> I like this shirt. <laughs> no, it's this actually is a celebratory actually, uh, 200th episode. You know what? That shirt. actually really is a it's, nice uh, shirt. It kind of got this. Uh, it's Can like a just, Vegas shirt. Look, yeah, it looks kind of shiny on there. Too. It looks very Vegas, very Vegas, and um, yeah, yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not bad. I like the texture. I think right. Velvet went out in the 80s, though. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Velvet is making a big comeback. It and is. is. This is Velveteen. Thank oh, Velveteen. Much. Oh, you know, I think you can wash and dry that. <laughs> I think you can. <laughs> and you can. Or you can wash your dry your car with it. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. Yeah. Sucks up eight times its weight in water. <laughs> Great just for case, people who sweat. Be careful when it rains. <laughs> okay, we're two minutes in. We haven't even mentioned the product yet. Well, actually, this product we have never. We we featured a lot of speakers, but we've never featured um, a speaker. System System that was just um, operatable, is that a word, by Bluetooth. That's true. These are the mm -hmm. COM1 Bluetooth speakers. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, and you'll notice, um, I mean, obviously they're plugged into the power. And they right. also have a little control panel here. But there's no iPod hooked up to them. There's no iPod dock or, or, or phone, you know, jacks. Now, you, there is a jack if you want to plug something in with a wire. But the whole point of these speakers is to use Bluetooth. Mm. From your phone, very cool. More likely because iPods don't have Bluetooth, but from mm -hmm. a phone like this uh, BlackBerry Curve, uh -huh. uh, to transmit the sound. So these can stay up high on a shelf in your house, or they can be somewhere remote. You walk home, and let's say you want to play some music, right? So here I'm gonna. So first, you know, here I am playing music just on the just on the um, phone. Okay, here it is. Okay, so that's just a little speakerphone. This is not a speaker for. Blackberry. There's a little speaker. Goes with your shirt. <laughs> now I'm gonna activate Bluetooth on the phone and it'll connect to the speakers. And it says, uh, activating, and now I will play it again. Okay, let's check it out. Turn the volume up. Ah, what's that? They'll notice. Yeah. And you can turn it down from here as well. I can turn the volume down here. So what happens when your phone rings? It pauses this, just uh -huh. like it would without this. It would pause this, and it goes back to the regular handset. Wow. Yeah, this is not like a speakerphone. Right. Right. But you'll notice here, this is all done with Bluetooth. Very so nice. So I can, I can, you know, no so, wires. So any Bluetooth computer, anything with Bluetooth that, that well, can... I mean, anything with Bluetooth speaker profile, like for instance, the iPhone doesn't work. The iPhone has Bluetooth. Apple, listening, oh. iPhone has Bluetooth, but these will not work on the iPhone because you need a speaker profile, not a headset profile. Oh, Do you understand? Wow. So the yes, iPhone I, connects. Con thank you. Mm. I mean, the iPhone no. connects well. okay, with, uh, <laughs> to a headset, but it will not connect to speakers to play music back. He's making back with, he's, you're getting back with me about the shirt comment, aren't you? <laughs> Do, you uh, Do you understand, Tiffany? <laughs> well, I remember the first time you were talking about this is like Bluetooth. It's not blue, it's black. Why is it called Bluetooth? And what's the tooth thing? And I have no idea. Pound tooth, Bluetooth. hair tooth. Yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> So this is very cool. 
again, you can leave these up in your thing. And there's, there's quite a bit of range. You know, I took these outside. I mean, take a look. There you go. Yeah. You know, there's no wires. You can stick that back in your pocket. If you want to change songs, you just change songs on it, and it will, uh, it'll, it'll go on and off. Very cool. Yeah. I gotta tell you, and yeah. I, I think the sound is pretty good for uh, Bluetooth connection. Mm -hmm. Let's turn it up again. There's uh, the volume thing on the side okay. there. There we go. So this really works for, gosh, works in my office because um, I've only got so much room and I have my speakers now on a shelf. The way I have to have to do it now is I bring in my iPod, plug it into the speakers. I'm just gonna turn this off. And uh, that's that's how I, you know. But what I'd like to do, so I mean, on my um, my HP, I've got headset profile, or I mean speaker profile. Right. So I can. Oh, that's gonna be great. By the way, this so thing also excited. has a, a 3D button. I don't know. Here's a little controller that it comes with, and you may notice on his little power volume, and then a 3D button that you can turn on there. What's a 3D button? Oh, well, so it kind of adds like a space, like a like a fake surround sound oh. thing to the speakers. Not a real one, no. but a fake one. No, it's just a, it adds this spatial dimension. If you like it, it's a bit of a gimmick, I think. I think that's, you know, the real value in these. Now, right. quickly, how much? I knew you were going to ask me that. Um, yeah. I you've, uh, you've heard them, so you hear the quality. The little right. subwoofer here, and then these, you know, the nice thing is also this, this some speaker cable. So you can put this somewhere, and then not underneath your desk, uh -huh. and then just have these little speakers, right. which are very thin, these little speakers, mm -hmm. that go on top of your desk. Uh, because of the new technology, I'd say 150. Actually, these are about a hundred bucks. I was going to say a hundred, but mm -hmm. I think they're good. Actually, you can find them a little cheaper great. if you really, really search. Ah, that's decent. I was going to say one fifty to, to go down to a hundred, probably in you know a couple months. But really, yeah. um, for a hundred bucks, five out of five. I mean, it's it's a uh, yeah, this is a great system for hundred bucks. I would have to agree. I got to tell you, it, mm -hmm. it paired with everything without a problem. I had no problems with it pairing. It pairs the moment you walk into a room with them. It's fantastic. They sound. Good. They don't sound Bose good. Sure. But they sound good. You know, well, how much Bose good can you have in, in an office anyway, or you know, yeah. I mean, in your house? Yeah, you and know, that's right. Yeah. And uh, and they sound pretty loud. I, mean, I really not gonna, like them. They're not going to, uh, you know, wake the neighbors, but uh, they sound pretty loud. Right. I really like the technology. So five out of five for me too. Great idea. I love the what's coming up in technology these days. Five out of five for Tiffany. Five mm -hmm. out of five for me for the Com One Bluetooth speakers. A great uh, wireless mm -hmm. system if you're. Cell phone will play music yeah, and uh, supports that. Yeah. yeah. And we have another segment coming up right after this quick blurb. So please stay tuned. I don't really know what you just said, but I don't know what you said. I sent the presentation on the spreadsheet for next week's presentation. IPods, including the new iPod Classic, which tops out at 160 megabytes, and the new iPod Touch, which is just like this. Hi there. I'm Ben Friedman from Neophyte.tv, and for the best sound for your podcasts or office communications, check out the microphones at RevoLabs.com. And we are back, and in the second segment today, two really cool new products. Yay. And the first one is this guy right here, which looks like a, just a USB key, sure. right? You know, right. you can think maybe this is a one gigabyte or... A, you know, a few gigabytes USB key. Oh, there we go. And yeah, it spins around like that. Hold All it right. up for the good folks oh, at home. Oh, here we go. And uh, you can plug that into your laptop. And what this is is actually Sprint. This is a USB modem for Sprint cell modem. And you plug this into your laptop, mm -hmm. and you have broadband access. Now, this is what's cool is Sprint, as you know, is one of the fastest data networks out there. Right. And it's 60 bucks a month. You plug this in, you get broadband. And this is one of these new EVDO Revision A. So an upgrade from the old, old... The uh, old EVDO one ah. that, you, that, that a, lot, a lot of people have. Revision A, you plug this into your laptop and you get really fast broadband access anywhere Sprint's network, it, you know, anywhere Sprint has this network. And if you're in... Right. Now, not everywhere has the Revision A. So if you don't have the Revision A, you get about 700 to 800 megabits. Mm -hmm. If you have the Revision A, which we do here in Phoenix, where we're located... Uh, you plug this into your laptop, and pretty much anywhere in Phoenix, I get over uh, a megabit. I get 1.1, 1 1.2 1 wow, megabits. that's yeah. great. Now, still not as fast as my cable connection at sure. home. That's about 3 megabits. So, well, What about a wireless connection, though? Like a wireless router, wireless, do you think it would be a similar? Well, you know, a regular wireless at home? At home network, yeah. Yeah, so it's still about a third the speed okay, third, okay, right. of, of that. Because a wireless network from your computer to the router is way faster than right. anything cable does. So if you have Cox cable like we do here or Comcast mm -hmm. and you can pay for faster but I generally get about three to four megabits from that when I do a speed test. This I almost always get 
uh, 1,000 to 1,100 to 12. Still really fast. Mm. I wonder, really fast. I wonder if they would, uh, you know. Keep so, in mind, when I say a thousand megabits or a thousand kilobits, uh, dial-up was, you know, fifty-six. Uh, yeah. So dial-up well, fifty-six. Yeah. Remember that. This oh, is a thousand. Take forever. That's right. So, so let me ask you this: What yeah. about phone as modem? Because I mean, these one you can use your smart phone like as your, modem. Like your good old Centro here. Yeah. I don't think the Centro does revision A, but it will do EVDO. Uh -huh. So if you have a phone like this, you mm -hmm. probably don't need one of these. Uh -huh. Of course. When you're using this as a modem, you can't be on the you phone. You can't be on the phone. Sure. So this is like for you who uses eight billion minutes a month would be <laughs> could be a problem. Right. Now, okay. The other cool sure. thing about that I like about this is you know most of these modems come with a disc and you have you know you have to have the disc into the drivers. Kind of cool about this, it also has a couple of hundred uh, megabytes of memory, mm -hmm. like a memory card. Very nice. And when you plug it in, it comes up like a flash drive, uh -huh. and all the drivers are right there. Nice. So let's say I wanted nice. to use your computer. Mm -hmm. I didn't have my computer, but I have this. Right. I can plug this into your computer, and Good the order. files I need to install are all on the key. Or let's say you go into a Kinko's right in some on. strange place, or let's say you, you know what I'm saying? Let's say you need to use somebody's portable computer. You just plug this in, and all the drivers are right there. I think I've spent a total of somewhere in the neighborhood of 5,000 hours looking for drivers right. for so stuff. Right, so the drivers are on so it. That is great. And what a great idea. Also has built in GPS. Oh. So as long as you're outside, yeah. it doesn't work well inside. Right. But as long as you're outside, uh -huh. it'll pick up a GPS signal and you can look for addresses and it'll find the nearest gas station or hotel or whatever, pulls it up in Google Maps. That is very cool. Yeah. Wow. 60 bucks a month. It's about a hundred dollar dongle to buy. Right. Uh, you need to buy the whole two year contract and that whole thing as well. What's this what's this for right here? That's for an external antenna. Ah. Now I don't know, I I haven't seen at least on the sprint site, they don't make mm -hmm. any antennas for it yet. But you can plug in antennas. Their plan is to the do plan something is, with Well, maybe. At least this is uh, for like Franklin Wireless. Uh -huh. And uh, so Franklin may make one. You can plug an antenna in right here for the uh, modem. And then there's a, another port here for the antenna for the GPS. So theoretically, you could actually plug two antennas in. Wow. One for Sprint and one for the GPS. Right. But I found it works well even without, even without, uh, without that. Now, yeah. if that wasn't cool enough, here's another wait, really wait, cool gadget more. that goes with it. This is from a company called Cradle Point. And this is the Cradle Point, uh, what do they call it? The Cradle Point Cellular Router. Now, let's say that there's four or five people in an office or in a car, or let's say we're taking a bus ride mm -hmm. somewhere. We only have one of these, right? Ah, I know. One where, of these. I know where you're so going. So, what are we doing? Like, you want to check your email? I give it to you, or I check my email? No. You use a Cradle Point Cellular Router. Nice. And here's what you do this thing plugs in like so. So it ends up looking like this. Look how small that is. Wow. Okay. And now Light. you just log on with Wi-Fi. So okay. you go onto your computer, you look, you know, under networks, you find the Cradle Point network, and you log on. And we can all log on. Do you, but you have to have a power cord. Yeah. Okay. So comes you have to. A, comes with a power cord, but you can run this off of a car. It's this. It's regular. What twelve volts or something? I mean, uh, you can okay, easily. Okay. So yeah, run that was my. Can you make it mobile? It's five. It's, mobile it's, uh, it's five volts. So you need a little uh, a car adapter. Sure. But you could totally run it off of a car. You could run it off of a portable little battery. It's, Great. Yeah. Very easy. They have battery powered ones. Cradle Point does. And Take I. Take it to Starbucks. You know what? Don't pay to connect to that network. <laughs> Give well, me three you, bucks. You can connect to mine. You could totally do that. You could go to Starbucks, <laughs> sit this right here, and you had 10 people around you. You could all connect just to that and share that cellular connection. Very nice. Yeah, very cool. It works very well. So uh, I was in, if any of you watched the show, we were in mm -hmm. Vegas uh, a few weeks back, and we were at the top of the Hilton uh, Vegas, me and Andy Walker. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Andy Walker and me. And we were at the top of the there. And let me tell you, you know what? They want 20 bucks a day for internet per laptop. Wow. So Andy Walker and I were in the same room. We'd have to do that. So here's what we did. And next door was Sean Carruthers, his partner on, on the Lab Rats show. Mm -hmm. I brought this with me. And we're way up high, so it got a really good signal sure. to the cell tower. Plug this guy in. Set it up with a uh, you know a password so other people couldn't access it. Right. I gave the password to Sean, to Sean's cameraman, to me, to Andy. We all logged on, all four of us, to this one guy. They were in the next Perfect. room. Perfect. No problems. And it was actually yeah. faster than the hotel's connection because, you know, on the hotel's yeah. connection, they had like, it was a convention. They split eight, it by like a billion. Eight billion people. Yeah. That's right. All trying to surf porn at the same time. Well, that will slow a network it's, down if anything does. It's a technology does. convention. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. 
you know. Well, I'm trying to do my serious work and, you know, can't get online. You know, no, so. I've found that more and more these days. Um, I'm seeing, uh, even on construction sites, you know, everybody has their computers yeah. with their wireless routers. Perfect for a construction site. And I, it makes me wonder, driving by there, I'm like, they're not even looking at the job. What are they really watching they're on that They're not whistling computer? at you anymore. Now yeah. They're, uh, what yeah. are they watching? You know, imagine probably one in three is probably watching porn. Yeah. So I would, I, for anyone who does okay. mobile or travel, these two things together, very, very powerful. So how much is the router then? The router is $140. Okay. A little more expensive than a regular router. So like 200 plus the service for the. Well, this is 140. This is about 100. So about 250. Oh, 250. Yeah, I think you can get it for. And then uh, plus the service is 60 bucks a month from Sprint. Do you have to sign a contract? Yes, you do. Two years. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think you can get away with a one year, but then this is more expensive for right. something. I don't know, but. Does it ever worry you when you do that? How um, technology changes? So you. You know, you, you worry about getting into a contract for two years and thinking, is it really going to be, you know, yeah, something I'll use in two years? But you know what? If, if, it, if you can, I, I, with me, it's one of those, is it going to pay for itself things? You know, this yeah. pays for itself because I can get online when I'm out traveling uh, mm -hmm. and, and that's, that's money in my pocket. Also, yeah, that's the cancellation deal. fee is 175 bucks with Sprint. So mm. worst case scenario, worst case scenario, you pay right. 175 bucks. I mean, it's bad. I don't like it, but it's not the end, you know, the end of the end world. End of the world, right. Very nice. Yeah. Great, great idea. And Sprint did a good job. I, I do like that Sprint, even though they merged with Nextel. Oh, this doesn't come from Sprint. This is separate. But Sprint offers a service. Sprint Nobody offers else this does, guy. Right? That's right. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, no, other people do. But Verizon does, but Sprint is definitely right now the fastest. Okay. Yeah. So they're the best. They are Leaders the best. in the pack. So very nice. Yeah. And that's all idea. the time we have for today. But please visit our website, www.neo-fight.tv. Uh, leave us a comment. Do you have one? Are you in a revision A area? Let us know mm -hmm. your experiences. How yeah, fast are your speeds? Are they super fast? Do you surf porn <laughs> all day? I don't know. Oh, so you can What's email your favorite those to site? Bed. No, don't, don't put that up there. I have to delete those comments because we're family friendly. Don't want to lose that clean tag we have on uh, iTunes. Is that nice for Ben to scream before he forwards? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, and that's all the time we have for today. But you have an extra 30 seconds? Take a look at this. Hey, I'm Andy Walker. Have you just bought a new computer with Windows Vista on it? Or maybe you've got an old XP computer that you upgraded. Well, we've just created an amazing new DVD. It'll teach you everything you need to know about the new operating system from Microsoft. It's called Getting Started with Windows Vista. In this DVD, there are three sections. One is out of the box. What do you need to do as soon as you start up Vista? Number two is Vista Essentials, things you need to know every day to make your computer experience amazing. Antivirus, security, all kinds of new features that Vista offers. And finally, geek tips and tricks, things you need to know that nobody else will have told you to make you a Vista guru. For more information, check out our website at gettingstartedvideo.com.